Welcome back everybody. We're in Learning Unit 1-3. In number one, we want to estimate the actual problem by rounding all the way and then doing the actual calculation. Well, the 3894, identify your digit, 3, look to the right, 5 or greater is the 8, so that estimates to be 4,000. Identify on the 18, the leftmost digit is 1, look to the right, it's 5 or greater, that becomes 20. So really to estimate, you multiply 4 times 2 is 8, and then add on how many zeros? You got it, four zeros. And don't forget your commas when you work from right to left. In the actual multiplication, you're talking about eight times four is 32, carry the three. Eight times nine is 72, add three is 75. Eight times eight is 64, carry the one is 71. And eight times three is 24, and seven more is 31. And then you multiply 38, 94 times one, and our grand total is 70,092. Don't forget to put that comma. Units, tens, hundreds, thousands, etc. And we can check this by going 8 times 3894 is 31,152. We then can go 10 times 3894 is 38,940. Total 70,092. Remember, the actual is not exactly the estimate. In number two, Multiply by the shortcut method. Well, shortcut method says what? You get 77 times 18, which will multiply out to be 1386. But how many zeros are in the problem? Five. So we have to add five more zeros. Add the five zeros and starting from right to left, put a comma every three positions. Comes out to be what? 138, what? Million, 600,000. In question number three, multiply by the shortcut method. Again, 95 times how many zeros do we have? Four zeros. So we take the 95 and add four zeros, becomes 950,000. In question number four, we divide, but let's first look at it by rounding all the way. In this case, identify the digit two. The, five, the six is greater than what? The five, so the 26 becomes 30. The 5325, round it all the way, identify digit as five, look to the right. Surely not less than, not greater than five, so we round to be 5,000. 30 goes into 50 one time with a remainder of 20. Bring down the zero. 30 goes into 200 six times, 180, with a remainder of 20, bring down the zero. 30 goes in there again six times, and our final remainder is 20. In the actual calculation, 26 goes into 53 twice with a remainder of one. Bring down the two, that won't go in, so it's a zero. Bring down the five. 26 goes into 125 four times with a remainder of 21. You see, we can check our answers by going 26 times the 204, which is 5,304. Add our remainder of 21, gives us 5,325. In question number five, divide by the shortcut method. 4,000 into 96,000. Here you must drop the four, three zeros, so it'll be four into 96, which answer will be 24. In question number six, General Motors produces 960 Chevrolets each day, workday that is. If its cost is 6,500, what's the total cost for the year? So let's get to this one. Our first step, and of course you can use the blueprint. We, know, we have to know cars produced each workday is what, 960? A work week is five days and the cost is 6,500. And we're looking for the total cost per year. So we need to take the cost produced per week times 52. That'll get our yearly production. And then we gotta figure out what did it cost per car and I'll multiply. Let's do it. In step number one, five day work week times 960. So we're gonna produce 4,800 cars per week. Well, 4,800 cars in a year is what, 52 weeks? is 249,600 cars. Well, in step, now look at our cost in step three. So the total cost per year, 249,600 cars at 6,500 bucks. Remember, we have zeros again here. So we're gonna multiply the 2496 times 65 and then add on how many zeros? We got four zeros. Or in this case, 1,622,400,000. Again, we can check by taking the 1 billion, 622,000, I'm sorry, 622 million. If I made a mistake before, remember that 622 should be millions, not thousands. 
Uh, the 400,000 represents the thousands. When we divide the whole thing by 249,600, it does come back to our 6,500. And keep in mind, everybody does mistakes, so don't laugh at me too much. <laughs>